you can't directly loop over a mapping, but there is a simple workaround. When you add a key to your mapping, you should add that key to another array. Then you can iterate over that array and call each key on the mapping. This will make more sense during our example. So first we'll initialize our mapping where the key is the user's name and the value is the ether they've deposited. So that's a mapping with a key, which is a string, and the value, which is an integer. And we'll make that public and we'll name that user deposits. Then we'll create an array to store user names, the same names that are the keys in our mapping. So an array of strings, public, and we'll call that user names. Then we'll create a function where we'll do all of our operations. First, we'll add the users and their deposits. So the first user's name is Soma, and he's deposited 10 Ether. And the second user is Satoshi, and he's deposited 2 Ether. And the third user is Magumi, and she's deposited 15 Ether. But we won't stop there. For each of these users, we will add their name to our array. So usernames.push, and we'll add Soma, and we'll do the same thing with Satoshi, and we'll do the same thing with Magumi. And we won't forget to add semicolons. Let's make this public. Now let's loop over these users in the mapping and decrease their deposits by one ether. How can we do that? The mapping doesn't have any built-in functionality to loop, but we can loop over our array. So we'll set i equals zero. i is less than usernames.length. i plus plus, open the curly braces. And then inside, we will give the name of our mapping. And then in square brackets, we'll pass in the name at each element of the array. So we can say user names and pass in the index from our for loop, minus equals one to decrement the value at each mapping key by one. And let's write a quick assert to make sure this worked. So Soma should now have 9 as its value. Satoshi should have 1. And Magumi should have 14. And it passes. So we were able to successfully loop over our mapping and update the values. If you found that helpful, give this video a like and subscribe.